What affects our driving skills? How does drinking, talking to a passenger, or on a cell phone affect these skills? Here at BGU's Lab for Human Factors and Road Safety, researchers are trying to answer these questions in order to better understand driving behavior and develop techniques to improve driving safety. This is the most sophisticated computerized driving simulation lab in Israel. Now what we see here is that we uh, actually see uh, what's ever going on with the driver from his face, what he's doing uh, during the drive, controlling the steering and other things if uh, we ask him to, the physiological uh, state of the driver. The lab draws on the research at BGU, exploring the impact on human behavior on road accidents. One of the things we do is we compare the behavior of different age groups or people with different levels of experience and so when you look at the difference in driving behavior of novice drivers who have just started driving and the difference and the driving behavior of experienced drivers or truck drivers, these are totally different behaviors. Professor David Shinar founded the lab. Shinar is also the chief scientist of Israel's National Road Safety Authority. One of the problems that young drivers have is that they are basically unaware of risks of the road. They don't see potential risks. Uh, experienced drivers do, and so we create situations that have inherent risks in them and we try to train drivers to be cued to these. In addition, we get uh, physiological recordings of the driver's stress level, so we can see if some situations are more stressful than others. We can also measure alertness uh, physiologically, and we also check drivers' uh, subjective uh, responses to the situation. Ow! Luckily, this was only a simulation. What we hope uh, to achieve is uh, to get the driver as much as feeling as he is driving his own car. So uh, the way to do that is that we leave him alone in the simulation room, uh, what uh, we saw before. And this way, uh, he is separated. He cannot talk with us unless we ask him to talk with us. There's nothing under the hood or the trunk of this 2008 luxury Cadillac, except computers. General Motors donated this STS sedan to BGU without a motor so it could be hooked up to the computerized driving simulation lab. GM and other companies also use the lab to evaluate new electronic systems, like alerting or warning devices. So now a driver will be driving something like an F-16 cockpit with all these alerts and sounds, and the question, how do you uh, manage all that information? This simulator lab is supported by a multidisciplinary team of professionals interested in driving behavior and driving safety. A team that's among the top 10 in the world. Electrical, mechanical and industrial engineers, physiologists and even psychologists all work here together bringing their expertise to collect and analyze different safety related data. So how do you get a Cadillac through the door of a university lab? With ingenuity, tenacity, and lots of manpower.